peace and blessings to everybody out there. I hope you had a great weekend. Today's Monday, so I don't know why I just said that. But anyway, I did a video a while back, and it was called The Dangers of Effing with a Quiet Person. So now I'm going to do a video titled Quiet People Problems. If you're a quiet person, I think you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know. So I'm going to start with number one. How come you never smile? Cheer up is what people always say to me. Well, everybody don't walk around 24-7 with a smile on their face. I only smile when I think it's necessary. I only smile when I find something extremely funny. And when I do smile, I smile internally. I don't show all my teeth. I might smirk or something like that, but I don't just smile. Why? Because of my environment. You understand, like, I'm a product of my environment. I grew up in a chaotic environment. I grew up in an environment where it was a lot of violence. It was turbulent. So you just couldn't show, you couldn't smile because smiling was a sign of weakness. Smiling was a sign that you could be exploited. Okay, so that's my reason for not smiling. You know, I didn't start off like that, of course. As a child, you know, you smile a lot. But the way I was raised forced me to to really not show emotion. All right. Um, quiet problems. Quiet people problems. Number two. People always asking you what's wrong. Um, that's probably should be number one because that shit get on my nerves. It really do. It really gets on my nerves when people always thinking I'm sad or depressed. Just because somebody is quiet doesn't mean that they're sad or depressed. Like, it don't make any sense. Like, it, 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 it befuddles me how people don't understand that everybody's wired different. Everybody's personality is different. That what makes life so beautiful. If everybody had the same personality, life would be banal. If everybody was loquacious, if everybody was, was gregarious, if everybody was very talkative, very sociable, it'd be, to me, it'd be annoying as fuck. But, but not only that, it'd be boring because there's no variety. What makes life so fun and enjoyable is that everybody is different. Everybody has their own unique personality. So some people are quiet naturally. Some people are sociable naturally either one isn't wrong so how would you so when somebody asks me how come you always quiet then I'm, I'm gonna ask you how come you talk all the time you see it's equally disrespective i mean disrespective it's equally disrespecting you see i can't talk worth shit today yeah so if you ask me dang how come you so quiet and i'm asking you well how come you talk so much you see? You see how I can interpret that as disrespect? So, for you quiet people, if somebody ever asks you, how come you so quiet? Ask them, how come you so loud? See how they like it. Um, Number three is... What's number three? I don't know. Okay, I don't know what number three is. All I can say is being quiet has way more pros than cons. Most people who talk without thinking, they get themselves in a lot of hot water. You know, they do. Inadvertently. Because what I'm saying is, if you tell one person something that you, that that's, that you consider to be secretive, then that person has a best friend too. So the person that you just told has a friend. 
and that person's friend has a friend and that friend has a friend. So you tell one person something that person tells somebody else that somebody else tells somebody else. And then that's how people business get out on the street because you can't trust people to keep secrets. People can't people cannot control their tongue. They just can't. They just can't. Some people can, but not a lot of people can't. And you shouldn't trust people with private information. Like, it's been times where I've been in, re in a relationship with a woman, and it never fails. When you are in an intimate relationship with somebody, then, yeah, they're going to know more about you than the regular person because you live with that person. So there are certain private things in your life that you share with them. But it never fails. Every time you separate with somebody, for me, I'm speaking about myself, like a girl, they always tell something about me, some private stuff. Some private stuff, you know what I mean? They always tell it. Because when things are good, you know, of course they're not, they're going to be loyal and they're going to be like, okay, I ain't telling nothing. You know, I won't say anything. But as soon as you do something and y'all separate, your, every all your business goes in the street. You know, so I just don't, you know, I, I'm, 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 I just don't tell the girl that I'm dating. I don't tell them anything no more. I don't tell them private things, trivial things. Yeah, but I don't tell them private shit. I remain an enigma. Either you like it or you don't. Either you like my personality or you don't. Okay. Most girls that date me, they start off liking it. But then as time progress, they like, man, you know, you too quiet. And I'm not an emotional person. I don't show emotions. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm, on, I'm a logic. I base everything off logic. Okay. So I don't show emotions like the regular dude. You know, I know how to be romantic and things of that nature. But as far as emotions, yeah, I react to things, but you know what I mean? It's not going to be emotionally driven. Just, I like to stay balanced. You know, I'm not flattered by compliments and I'm not, you know, offended by criticism. Allow me to reiterate that I'm not flattered by compliments. OK, and I'm not repulsed or offended by negative criticism. If somebody leave me a negative comment. You now, keep in mind that I'm five, nine, 218 pounds. So in person, you probably wouldn't be, no, I'm just playing. But if somebody leave a, a, a negative comment, I swear it wouldn't bother me at all. Not one bit. You know, good comments I like. But at the same time, I can't get caught up in that because the same people who love you one minute hate you the next minute. The same people who love you one minute hate you the next minute. Celebrities deal with it all the time. I'm not saying I'm a celebrity, but one minute they're idolized, lionized, worshipped. You see what I'm saying? Then the next minute, everybody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> everybody like disassociate themselves from that person or they start to like criticize them real negatively because of something that he did or said that didn't. That they didn't find pleasant. See? So I'm just being me. Alright. That was the end of my video. I hope you like it. If you do, click thumbs up. If you want to subscribe and be a member. Then subscribe and be a member. And I will be so happy. Alright. Peace. Mike Davis and I'm out.